I welcome you all to create a writing class. So our topic for today is about figures of speech. So what is a figures of speech? It is a word or phrase that is used in a non-literal way to create an effect. So it is a language that has other meaning than its normal definition. In other words, figures of speech relies on implied or suggested meaning rather than a dictionary definition. It is expressed and developed through hundreds of different literary devices or techniques. But today, we will only be discussing simile, metaphor, and personification. So let's begin with the degree of comparison. So there are figures of speeches that belong to this category, which is comparison, such as simile and metaphor. So let's begin with the simile. So what is simile? It is a stated comparison, usually formed with like or as, between two fundamentally unlike things that have certain qualities in common. A simile is a figure of speech that directly compares two unlike things. To make the comparison, similes most often use the connecting words like or as, but can also use other words that indicate an explicit comparison. I'll give you an example for simile. A woman is like a tea bug. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. This statement is taken from Eleanor Roosevelt. So this statement, according to Roosevelt, he com uh, she compares two unlike things, the women and the tea box, to describe how women reveal the full extent of their toughness in difficult situations. I'll give you another example. This is taken from Sonnet 130 by Shakespeare. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. In Sonnet 130, Shakespeare turning all similes into negative similes. Instead of writing in this way, that his mistress' eyes are like the sun, that her lips are red as coral, and so on. But instead, Shakespeare says that her eyes are nothing like the sun, and that coral is far more red than her lips. It is as though that he is acknowledging the fact that many similes have become more cliché. And instead, he is proposing to pay a more meaningful tribute to his love by inverting those similes and treating her like a real-life woman. With that, he is embracing the imperfection of his mistress. I'll give you a last example for simile. This is a song of fireworks by Katy Perry. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag, drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from giving in? This song, Fireworks, uses many similes to ignite our imagination, as well as to rouse us to rise above our personal hurdles or challenges and find peace within ourselves. In these lines, the writer makes use of similes to compare oneself with the aimless, aimlessness of a plastic bag, as well as the feebleness of a house of cards. Next, we have metaphor. It is an implied comparison between two unlike things that actually have something important in common. So a metaphor is a figure of speech that makes a comparison between two unlike things. As a literary device, metaphor creates implicit comparisons 
without the express use of like or as. So how is it different from simile? Simile uses explicit comparison. Explicit means it is fully and clearly expressed. Meanwhile, metaphor uses implied comparison. Implied means it is suggested, but it is not directly expressed or stated. I'll give you an example for metaphor. So this is a famous scene, a back, uh, balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Romeo compares Juliet to the sun, not only to describe how radiantly beautiful she is, but also to convey the full extent of her power over him. He is so taken with Juliet that her appearances and disappearances affect him like those of the sun. His life revolves around Juliet like the earth or orbits the sun. I'll give you another, another example. So this is a song, we write the stars in the greatest showman movie. What if we rewrite the stars? Say you were, you were made to be mine. Nothing could keep us apart. You'd be the one I was meant to find. It's up to you and it's up to me. No one can say what we get to be. So why don't we rewrite the stars? Maybe the world could, uh, could be ours tonight. In this song, here the fate or destiny is being compared to the stars. Most people also believe that their fate is written in the stars and all the events are predestined to happen. Hence, rewrite the stars means the characters in this film are challenging themselves to change their fate and prove the old belief wrong. So I have another category here, which is ob objects or ideas as human. So the perfect figure of speech that belongs to this category is personification. So what is personification? It is a figure of speech that uses inanimate object or abstraction and is endowed with human qualities or abilities. This allows writers to create life and motion within inanimate objects, animals, and even abstract ideas by assigning them human behaviors and emotions. I'll give you an example for personification. New York is a city that never sleeps. In this example, it uses personification to imply that New York is a bustling city. The city cannot literally sleep, nor can the city be awake like a human can. Have, however, this common phrase mean that New York is a lively and energetic city day or night. In the second example, her heart was divided between concern for her sister and resentment against all the others. So it is not the heart that is feeling divided. It is the person, it is the human who is feeling divided between concern and resentment. I'll give you another example. So this is a song, A Whole New World by Leia Salonga. Tell me, princess, when did you last let your heart decide? So it is not the heart that is going to decide. It is the person, it is the human. But the word heart is given a human ability. So that this example is a perfect example for personification. So that is all for today. I hope you have learned from this video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Asian Steps. For more exclusive videos, don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. And click here. Click here. Click here. Click here. Click here. Click here.